Are you a hot mess? Did you try to keep a bullet journal at some point in your life? Have you ever made a to-do list and lost it? I have. <gasps> well, this video is for you. Hi Slayers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eileen and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my Notion setup. If you don't know what Notion is, it's a really cool platform that's free and it's online and it's basically a place where you can have to-do lists, databases, and you can take notes on it and it keeps you very well organized. And as someone who is a hot mess and is always looking for something to help my productivity a little more, Notion is honestly like one of my favorite platforms for that. So I'm just going to be giving you a little tour of this video is not sponsored literally love it and if you want to know more about it feel free to ask in the comments if you want to take some inspiration from this video or if you're looking to get your life together a little bit more then i highly recommend notion i know it can be a little bit daunting it is a platform that has a lot of capabilities but if you really take the time to learn the basics and you just look up some youtube videos and stuff it's honestly really easy once it's all set up so i'm gonna stop blabbing and let's go ahead and get into it so starting off with this home page I didn't used to have a homepage when I first started using Notion, but now I like it just because it gives me a little base to come back to and I really like the little gif that I put as the banner. It's some rain that's falling and I just downloaded that off of Pinterest, which is pretty true for the entire like decorating that I've done on this page. It's all ripped off Pinterest. And the stuff that's on my homepage is basically stuff that I look through every single day or most times a day, like I want easy access to it. And I leave the stuff on the sidebar to be more stuff that I look at like yearly or like not as often at all. On this homepage, I just have my name and some little emojis. And I believe this picture is from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I also have a little widget, which I really love. It's basically just something that counts down the year and the month and the week. And I just find it helps me really like think about where I am in terms of my goals. And just like, I feel like time just gets lost a lot of the time. So I, I feel that this helps a little bit. I found this widget just by typing in Google Notion widgets and then you just kick a link and like copy the link. So yeah. Anyways, moving away from the homepage, let's start with my to-do list. I just came up with this to-do system like this week is the first week that I've been doing it in this way. So the way this works is you input your little to-do. You can input it anywhere, but let's say I'm inputting it in the table and I'm like film YouTube video. Uh, and then I can tag it as something. So I'll probably tag it as film and then Notion lets you have different views of the same database. So all I have to do is click the plus and click new view and then you can move it to a calendar view and you can change it to be like weekly. And to me, that looks a lot better and a lot more like a to do. And then you could even go further, which is how I have mine, where you can see the tags and the check boxes and it's still really interactive over here and you can move them a lot easier. So I have been liking this system so far. I used to just use a regular to-do like list template that I found online or something or that I just made. I don't really remember, but that was really helpful also because sometimes you just need a simple to-do list and it doesn't need to be fancy or crazy at all. So I will show you that. So this is like what I used to use and I used this for like six months maybe. So a long time. I, I like to try new productivity like ways to organize myself a lot, but I'm always changing my mind for like how I want to make to-do lists and what's best for me. Um, and honestly, that probably says something about me internally, but um, we're going to look past that. Basically, it was really easy. You can just make new to-dos. You can make them sub to-dos. And then you can even move them really easily. So I just found it really simple. The only thing is you have to like copy and paste a fresh one every time if you want the weeks there and you would have to like manually put the dates and stuff. And I wanted it to coincide with my calendar a little bit better, uh, but more on that later. Moving on, my next tab is my university tab. And this one I wanted to make aesthetic AF. So for this one, I basically add every class that I'm in, especially the ones that I take notes on my laptop. And then once you go into that page, you can make as many pages in a notion as you want, which I love. So I keep all of my notes here uh, and I just separate it by lecture and it works out pretty well. I like that it's kind of basically just like Google docs and stuff. And it's just like a regular note taking platform, but it's all in one place. 
and it's very easy to organize. Whereas I feel like when I type in Word and Docs, like I just let it get so messy. But here it's like really easy to just make a fresh page or make a new heading or like whatever I need to do. So yeah, I just keep all my classes and I even keep old classes and you can just drag pages into each other and it'll like put one in the other. So when the semester's over, I'll make a spring semester thing and then it'll just like populate in there. Um, so yeah, this was my last semester. I had some notes and stuff. Clearly I stopped going to class. And also on this like little university hub, I have a thing to further cement time to my brain where I check off the weeks as we go. Now we are moving on to my habit tracker. Now this is something I started this month also. I have habit tracked in Notion before, but that was before I really quite knew what I was doing. This one in my opinion is better. Right now I have it sorted to just my good days because it's not like I'm trying to show you like my bad days on here because I do track my mood and my anxiety because your girl needs that. Um, anyways, so for Habit Tracker, you can make as many columns as you need and I've made quite a few, clearly. I really wanted to be detailed this time. I like it because it's not like, oh, you're just tracking habits. I feel like sometimes there's a lot of subjectivity around why or why not you might've done something or not done something. So I wanted to give myself a little place where I could write down a little summary of the day, less like emotional, like diary writing and more just like, this is what happened today. And like, you can maybe read into these things if you want to. Right now I'm keeping it at date, sleep, screen time, my mood and anxiety, a summary slash like reasons why I might be feeling that way. And then I have all of my habits laid out and I just know what each little symbol means and I can just check it off as you can see. It's been working for me so far and I really like it and I really value habit tracking and I like looking at data. So I find it really fun and like a really nice place to have that also in the same vein as like my to-do lists and my like everything is basically all in this one platform. The other thing I will mention real quick is be careful like what you write in here. A lot of people use Notion for like journaling and I'm pretty sure because it's like a free platform, they low key can just like see anything you write in here. So like, just be conscious of that. Maybe don't confess that you murdered someone in Notion, okay? We're all selling our data to like everyone in the world anyways. <laughs> just kidding, that was a joke. I love you FBI agent who watches over me. Okay, so then I have my expenses thing and I change this out every month to be the month that we're in. And I'll just be real and show you what my budget actually is. It's a low amount, I don't, I'm, I don't have rent or bills really. I mean, I do have rent technically, but it's like a separate thing because it's like tuition. So this is my monthly budget and this is where I keep it all. And I just put a little chart in this page and I put two sub pages in it. And you could do that just by typing the slash key and it gives you like all of these really cool blocks and stuff that are already pre-made and all of these views and everything. Even if you're completely at a loss with like digital stuff and like Notion as a platform, you can always type a slash and hopefully you'll figure something out with that. So here's my tiny little budget. And sometimes I will put like how I'm doing halfway through the month in the other column, but I don't always do that. Okay, and here is my money in page. And basically I don't get that much money throughout the month, but every time I do, I make sure to log it in here and I'll put a tag for it. And that way I can sort by tag. I can see what account it's in. I can see if it was hourly, if it was freelance. And yeah, and then I just put the amount and Notion will sum it up for you. It's just one of the options when you make a table like this. And I pretty much always have it just set to sum. And then my next page is my money out page. So I will put the date and then I'll put what I bought and then I'll add any tag. I will put the tags that correlate with my budget. So I'll have like this much allotted for food. And then if I wanna check in and see how much I've spent under that specific category, I can click filter and I can filter it by each tag. And then I can see it'll sum it up differently from the total sum. It'll tell me how much I've spent in that category, which I, love. I love to sort things by tags. It just makes my brain happy. It feels like it's like, oh, you're in the right little place. Sorry if that was like really nerdy. This whole video is just me indulging myself in being a nerd. And I also rate my enjoyment out of whatever I buy because it's important to me that I'm buying things I enjoy. And it's also important to me if I hated what I bought that I mark it down. And I, I say that I didn't like buying that. I'm looking at the $10 I had to spend on my laundry the other day because the machine broke twice. It's rated zero. And I put the amount and then it'll sum it up for me at the bottom. Okay, 
back to the home page. Couple more fun ones. This is my video ideas place. So you're getting like a little behind the scenes of Eileen's behind the scenes. So this is a board view. And what I like about the board view is that you can drag things really easily into different categories and just see it like in real time. And then I'll, if I script them, I can put the scripts in here. For example, this is the script for how I budget. It's not a full script. It's mostly just like, bullet points. I really like doing it this way because it's not like a giant word doc that I would have to like link somewhere else. It is literally the page. It's just like also just a title. So if you click on it, it opens up and then if you want it to go away, it goes away. Okay. And then the last like big thing that I use a lot is my wish list, which is also in board view. And at the top here, I just have a couple of guidelines. Sometimes I will pull up this wish list page before I buy something and I'll read through it, especially if it's an impulse buy and I'm feeling guilty because it's not on my wish list, I will read through that list of questions and then sometimes I can help make myself the decision a little better. But for the most part, this is everything that I want. And it's in categories uh, that are helpful to me. Yeah, and I just like add things when I want to. Some things have been sitting there for a while and then I like that I can drag them into a hidden group. For example, once I get something, I can drag it to the gotten pile and then I can open up the gotten pile and be like, oh my God, I've gotten all of these things. That's like incredibly cool and I'm so grateful for it. Or if I'm like, I don't actually want this anymore, I'll put it in, maybe I don't need this. And then if I don't think about it for a while, it'll just cease to be there. This has really helped me keep my budget together and keep me buying things that I actually like to buy. So I highly recommend putting a wish list. It doesn't have to be this fancy. You don't need categories like this. I find it easier this way, but I understand that a lot of people might just want like a good old fashioned list. And you know what? I don't blame you. One of the last things on here is a list slash reminder thing. And I don't really use this a lot. Um, it's more like, these are lists I would put links into. And then <laughs> there's yet more. On the sidebar, I have a shared calendar between me and Lydia. We both do content for this brand and we wanted a place to make its own little content calendar, which is very helpful and very nice. We have, okay, we obviously have my home place, but then we have all of my goals for this year. And yeah, I, I just wanted to put them in a place that I could look at. I also have them written in my journal. Um, there's a lot of overlap between my journal and this. I feel that the medium of writing things on a computer can sometimes be a little impersonal. So oftentimes, yes, I do like copy back and forth between here and between my journal. And then I have a savings tracker and there's actually more on here, but I don't wanna like show you my entire bank account and savings all in one day. Um, but I do have this one separated with a different thing. It has an account section because I have multiple accounts. So then I can choose the account and I can choose a tag for it. And I also have like a little section to the side where I can write if there was something owed to me or like a Venmo or something, or like if I did something strange with my money, a lot of times cash can be so difficult to figure out how to like put that in my system that I'll have to just like write it on the side and be like $20 of this was just spent in cash. I don't know how to put this in here. But yeah, it's helpful for me to every once in a while go and, and update these settings. I try to do it at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, just so I can know like where I am in terms of my savings goals. And then lastly, I just have a big fat archive page. And like I said before, you could drag pages onto the archive page. And I usually um, save all my like expenses on here and like archive them every month. But I also have a bunch of like old to-do lists. As you can see, I've gone through quite a bit of like different styles of to-do lists. So that is basically the full Notion setup up until very recently, Notion launched a calendar. Before this, I would use my Apple calendar, but Notion has released a calendar. And dare I say, I quite like it because you can see all of your other databases, but you could also choose to not see them. So here I have like all my recurring tasks. And then at the top, you can see my daily to do things. And then at the side, I can show if like, you know how I put the date in on everything? That date corresponds to this calendar. So theoretically I could turn on my money out and then it'll show at the top all the things that I've bought on, on what day along with all of my tasks, which I think is really cool. I am really curious to play around with this more and I might have to do a little update for you, but it is really, really new. So I don't know too much about it, but for the most part, that is all. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love these productivity videos and stuff. 
I really like to make my systems as efficient as possible and I look at tons of other creators and stuff's other videos to like gain inspiration from that so I hope that I gave you a little bit of inspiration if not that's fine too but thank you for listening to me blab anyways and I hope you have a great day remember to like and subscribe and stay slay bye